We're joined by Brian Winters. Now, Brian, the first time we ever, uh, the show interviewed you, my uh, former co-host, we were over at Cortland. Cortland yeah, I remember that. And he literally, you, he goes, oh, Brian Waters. And you, like, <laughs> I played it off. Right. You I were like, you were so cool about it. And I'm like sitting there going, this guy could kill you. Like, just <laughs> squash you like a bug. <laughs> you, you look bigger. You look meaner. Like, you got the head, the shaved head. Are Have you... I mean, you're bigger. You're, how many how many pounds of muscle have you put on since two years ago? I, you know what, I couldn't tell you, but you know, I'm sitting at a right, probably about three twenty. About me too. It looks better on you. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? You're, yeah, I don't totally, want to talk about it. It does look better on you. <laughs> so, all right. So we've been talking about the differences because we weren't here last year. Right. Of a, of a Rex camp and a Todd Bowles camp. What is the difference for a guy like you who's in there in the trenches? You know, really. Um, it's it's a lot more competition. You know, he puts us out there, and he just lets us roll. Um, you know, before it was more, you know, he took care of us type thing. But, you know, Todd wants to see everyone under pressure and everyone working hard. And, uh, you know, I feel like that's what we needed, you know, in the long run, definitely at the end of the season and towards the end of the, you know, end of the fourth quarter or whatever. You know, you need, you need that extra competition. He lets us go, and, you know, we need that grind. So I feel like that's what he brings to the table for us. Uh, we were a little surprised to see wind sprints at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so were we, you know. Yeah. He's got this thing that, you know, if we if we walk, to, walk anywhere, you know, he makes us run. So that's what that was about. Okay, so no music, wind sprints, all business. All business. What's the motto for Jets Camp this year? <sighs> you know, that's – it's – Really, in our in you know the old line room, it's you know never let up. You know that's our thing that we're going for right now. We're, you know, trying to push through everything. You know, obviously we got a good group of guys and we've been playing with each other. And it's not about knowing how to play with someone. It's just you know finishing everything. Yeah, well, we were certainly glad that the whole Fitz thing got settled. Yes, definitely. you know, I, I'm sure everybody. I mean, it must have been something that everybody's waiting. Let's get this whole thing done, so that we can move on. We're were you surprised that it got got settled right at the last minute? What were your thoughts on that? You know, I I knew it was going to happen. I just didn't know when. You know, it was yeah. just a matter of time. And um, you know, like like you said, you know, it's a great thing. You know, obviously, we can go into camp not worrying about things. You know, obviously, you know, fits on the back end. You know, we don't got to worry about if he's going to come or if he's not. You know what the situation is. So it's it's definitely good. And now we can play clear. Yep. You brought the old line room to bring a Sean Ferguson, a guy who's been around for a long time, retired before the season. How different is it without him there now? Yeah, it's you know it's unbelievable. I came in you know as a rookie and you know started next to him my rookie season. Uh, he's taught me a lot. He was a mentor towards me uh, for me. And um, it, you know it's a little different. You know it's a little you know looking over there. You know obviously we replaced him with another great great guy. You know Ryan Clady's doing a great job. And uh, you know it's 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 a little odd, but you know we'll get used to it. Brian Winters joins us, uh, offensive lineman for the New York Jets. We're live at camp. Um, I've seen reports, and and I it shocks me because I've seen you play, and you play mean, you play you play aggressive. I've seen reports it's a make or break year for you. Do you feel like that at all? I don't pay attention to anything what people say. You know, obviously you're gonna have any media say whatever they want, but until they see me play, it's what it, you know what it is. Do you ever want him to line up now across me and you make know, or break you know, this? It's, yeah, it's you know I I've been I've been dealing with it. You know, it's yeah. New York media. You just <laughs> gotta deal with it and move on and uh you know i just i just laugh at it to be honest you're from a max school you played at kent state your quarterbacks from harvard your running backs from tulane do you feel like there's a chip on your guys' shoulder come from these smaller schools and motivates you it's great you know it's obviously you know we can play with anyone we've got brian uh brian winters with us right here at uh, jets camp brian we we're glad you're coming over and hanging out with us a little bit um how much better are you guys because you bang with that defensive front from the jets d a lot you know um you know, really, it's it's one of the best defensive lines in in, in the NFL. So mm-hmm. obviously, going against them every practice is a is a big thing. And you know, when we can get successful things done on them, you know, we know we can do it any anywhere or any time. Was there a part of you that hoped Mo would miss camp just so you wouldn't have to shove him around? No, I, li- I like going, I like going <laughs> against Mo. I like going against Mo. Mo's a good competition. You know, he gets me better. What's the rest of the schedule for you guys? Because you got Jacksonville coming up on Thursday. Um, you know, tomorrow we are in Spiders. You know, it's more of a you know we're trying to stay fresher and obviously it's, it's still a full practice and we're still going so um and after that i'm not sure so. how happy are you that the uh patriots are gonna uh, that brady's gonna have to miss four games <laughs> that's their problem <laughs> <laughs> that's their problem what's the uh, what is the goal for the team last year you guys so close to a wild card do you feel like this is the year you could take down the east 100 percent, and that's you know that's that's what we're going for you know we have a great squad we got good additions you know we obviously lost some people but you know, we're going to continue to work and move forward. 
You lost the AFC leading rusher last year, Chris Ivory. You got a new guy back there in Matt Forte. You're up front blocking for him. Anything different between Ivory and Forte and blocking for those guys? You know, it's you. You know, you let one one amazing player go and you pick up another, and that's that's just where it is. It's uh, you know, he's a great player. He he can read things and he's doing well. Yeah, we were just talking about before you came here about how this Jets team uh, really really looks good this year. Oh, unbelievable! It's it. it See, it's nice to be home, you know, go home and, you know, spend time with the family and everything on the days off. But, you know, Corlin is a nice change-up. All right, it's Brian Winters. We're hoping the best for him, and uh, we really appreciate you taking some time Thanks, to Brian. sit down Love with us, see. man. Thank you. Good luck, and go shove some people around and have Thank some fun you. with it, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, Brian. Brian. Winters. I mean, he, he did, did it again. Did I, I didn't, did I say, no. did I no. say no. Winters? No, no, you no. didn't say Winters. Oh, I never did it the first time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that to me. I just got that saying how scary he looks. <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to scare you. <laughs> Dude, he, Brian, I, I mean, he, is, he looks ready. He looks oh, yeah. absolutely 100% ready. We appreciate the heck out of him taking some time. And, man, it's can you imagine like there's there's like people right and make or break for the dude this guy is all muscle he's all he's three, all muscle he's 320 he, that's that's see i'm just saying that's what i look like when i look in the mirror i'll tell you yeah you don't want you don't want to, that i mean that's a that's a that's a lot of dude right there i'm just saying with him shaving his head too he looks scarier it's so much scarier like so like like not okay scary like I would go to the other side of the road if I had the opportunity. Scary, but man, I'll tell you, he, you know, he's a guy who you can see the the comfort in his own skin too. Yeah. Like the first time we talked to him, he was chill. You know what I mean? But he was just very laid back, chill. Yeah. Now he's comfortable enough. I guarantee, if I called him Brian Waters to start this thing, he would have said it a little differently. Yeah. He, I love that he remembered that. And he's, he he seems to be very confident. <clears throat> Wouldn't you be if you were three twenty? Yeah, like that? yeah. Come on, though. Um, Good so, point. So we're here at Jets camp. That was uh, that was Brian Winters and.